just look at this uh, beautiful logo, Metal Sentinel inside. We need to have the three uh, components. So it's the piano and the components from Metal. We need to have the CPU. Uh, we have the, the special chipset uh, with integrated graphics. Or you can have the integrated or also the external <coughs> graphics, but uh, we have the dynamics of strange. I will go to this detail. And of course, you need to have the optionally, uh, you need to have the Wi Fi card, but optionally also Wi Fi, which is very interesting. So, as normally, Centrino is not the name of the CPU, it's the logo for the three components you need to have in your laptop. So if one of these components is missing, for example this one, you will probably uh, be able to get the Intel Core to do or laptop, uh, something like that. But you will be, uh, as we already are made by some mistake, you will, will be not sexy uh, so much. Uh, Section generation sexy. Uh, so what change uh, this day? If somebody will ask, is this the revolution or is the evolution? If you just remember the Santa Rosa and Santa Rosa refresh, Santa Rosa was third generation of the of the all the components. It was Santa Rosa, but the Santa Rosa refresh is just only refresh of the third generation of the Intel Centrino uh, uh, platform. So it was just only new CPU, not in fact new CPU, but uh, the same products family in the different uh, products technology and the uh, faster functions. But the chipsets were the same, wireless was the same, and the LAN components were the same as well. Here, all the components are completely new. So it's platform built from the scratch. So you have the completely new uh, uh, microprocessor with the fastest processor bus. You will have the new uh, the chipset family. Two chipset family you can choose the, the, the best. Which market and in which market is going to so You will have the completely new wireless uh, component, including also the uh, WiMAX component and the uh, new LAN. Component. And all those components are specially designed for the mobile, uh, mobile optimized, energy optimized, and dedicated to this uh, to this segment uh, only. Of course, you know some principles of the CPU are the same for the cross all the products family. So they base on the Intel Core Micro architecture, very very family with all this sweet uh, technology we have already. From the uh, processor's point of view. You will have the Intel Core to do all, uh, starting from the uh, 12 GHz and the uh, faster fonts at bus 1066. But you will have also some killer, you know, or some uh, extreme addition, uh, where you will uh, have the 3 GHz, 1, uh, one uh, GHz fonts at bus 6 meg LP cache. And this dedicated for this extreme uh, uh, intensive user, mainly gamers, some segment of the users which are using laptop for the uh, for the game, some uh, or OEMs, for example, Dell, they have even a special two lines of the uh, gaming SKU, XPS, for example. You know, this is the special dedicated for gamer SKU, and probably this is the, the best, uh, the best uh, processor for them. Uh, from the chipset perspective, you can uh, get the 47 Express chipset, which is running the graphic on the 64. Uh, megahertz uh, and uh, uh, 45 Express chipset, which is the graphics class 533 uh, megahertz. Uh, on the wireless WiMAX, uh, you will have the 5050, which is the WiMAX uh, uh, field component, or 5000 series, which is just only uh, uh, wide field. New gigabit components and uh, the Intel 2 the memory option. Uh, so, what is the extreme addition? 44 watts. Uh, and it's also what is the very inter interesting the over speed protection is removed from the, from the car. So, is the really the, uh, extreme part of the, the copy that's speed Of course, the performance because the CPUs are based on the uh, highest frequency of the highest uh, products manufacturing. And 3 gigahertz is very easy to calculate for instruction 12 and 24 gigahertz uh, for the performance and dramatic improvement on the, the benchmark period versus the, uh, the previous generation where the front bus was not so uh, fast and also when uh, the memory uh, subsystem was uh, so well balanced with all these techniques we picked from the uh, by the way from the server chipset. It is the first optional integrated WiMAX uh, uh, in the laptop provided uh, uh, from Intel. 
Of course, it will require some certification, not every country are ready, especially yeah. in the country like the United States and the Canada, and they really require the special, Russia, China, and they really require the special certification. We will not be ready for lunch, but it's a question of the certification of the health of the city. Uh, of course, we will have for some extent that the uh, uh, pro technology, especially for the uh, enterprise users, protection, secure environment, and the uh, ATM uh, kind of uh, implementation. What the what clients are expected. Blu-ray, high definition television, uh, high resolution, good to video, clear, like, like, good, good, good graphics, uh, extraordinary improvement on the 3D graphics. Uh, if you just consider the integrated one, this is always what I need to say. And of course, then you wireless in the fastest uh, standard, 2802.11, uh, uh, and, and of course, this Wi-Fi mobile implementation. And uh, we have already strong uh, ecosystem support. Uh, I just got the report from the SSG Software Solution Group that we are uh, preparing the 40 uh, new uh, application title dedicated to the Centrino 2 uh, notebook plan. So even uh, from the ecosystem point of view, we are preparing a special type of application dedicated for the Monte Vida. Probably they are somehow connected to these uh, 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 new features on the, um, of the chipset and also WiMAX and also for uh, Vipro uh, 18040 implementation. Well, there, are some, there are some interesting benchmarks ahead which we can share definitely as well. These are even more top secret than the previous ones. Okay. Overall, what you have here is like two kind of groups of uh, CPUs, the top one, the top performance, and the mainstream. And here you have the, our platforms from the NAPA, which was like three years ago, something like that. So you can see that actually we, go, we are going like up to 50 or 60 percent in performance uh, comparing to what was uh, three years ago. I know that one say it's easy to compare three years ago, but remember that every time we launch a new platform, there is a certain jump. If you can see, there was a huge jump when Santa Rosa was introduced last year. With Santa Rosa refresh, there was a couple percent jump because of the new CPUs. And then you can see like 10%, 15% jump because of the old change in the, uh, in the platform. Now this is something that is important, I know, because uh, uh, let's say the integrated graphics benchmarks is a hot topic at a certain areas. So uh, we have to admit, let's say, there were generations where uh, the market was extremely competitive for us. The new chipset with the uh, GM45 series chipset, either in desktop or mobile, is something that we are really proud of. It's not that we're going to deliver huge performance in 3D games, because this is not all about. It's when you look at the usage models of the notebook, actually what people take care about is really watching movies, is uh, watching maybe some presentations, doing uh, maybe editing pictures or watching pictures, doing some multimedia, and doing some basic stuff. If you talk about games, yes, but it's a very small percentage. Actually, if people want to play games on notebook, they use the discrete graphics. But I'm sure many of you will sooner or later test our notebooks. So I'm not going to say uh, it is the best. You will see it for yourself. But we are very proud of the uh, of the of the new chipset, and this will actually change the game. And I know that there were some presentations recently by other CPU manufacturers which were comparing uh, the Santa Rosa uh, platform, which, was, which, which, which has like a year now to, to the to, 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 to their new platform. So this is the platform that should be compared with the one who is coming now on the market. And, uh, 